डेटा डॉट आई एस आर आई सी और डॉट ऑल अब अगर यहाँ सी दिस इज़ द ओपन लैंड सोयल टेक्चर यूएसडीए सिस्टम सो दिस डेटा सेट इज़ ग्लोबली अवेलेबल फॉर द सोयल टेक्चर एंड ओपन लैंड सोयल टेक्चर यूएसडीए सो दिस डेटा सेट वी कैन इजली यूज़ इट सो हेयर यू कैन सी इन द फॉर द डिफरेंट डेप we can get the soil texture in the different depth we can also get such as you can see about that 0 cm depth okay so suppose i need the soil texture in the 0 cm depth so then i use at the b0 then 10 cm depth we can easily get it from the b10 30 cm depth we can easily use for the b30 60 also you can see about the what is the b0 we can see different types of description about that for the soil texture You can see about that CL, CI, CL. So different types of soil texture list we can also get in here. Okay. So now I will show you that how we can easily make the soil texture map in Python. So it's the same way. So first of all, what can I do? I simply copy this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Man, can, can you can you do it in our Google application? Uh, same, same as suppose this these things and this. Okay, just a minute. Okay, just I simply copy this. I will, yeah. So I just simply copy. And then yeah, uh, paste here. This, and then give a variable name. You can put any name as a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that uh, soil, soil data. Hmm. Then equal. Okay. So now you can see here it's an image. Okay, so it's not an image collection. So when you can get this type of image, we can easily visualize without filtering. Suppose I just simply put at the map dot at layer, and then use at the soil data this variable. I simply call it to run. So now it will be loaded for the whole world. Okay, we can get this type of map without yes, coloring. Yes. So it, this data load for the whole world soil texture without color. So now we can easily add the color. So we can easily there already defined some color here. You can see. So just I simply copy this color code and further I just use it in here, paste in here, and then simply copy the variable name and this soil texture for zero centimeter depth. Okay, B zero means that zero centimeter depth. So just I paste here, click run. So now we can easily get the full uh, world soil texture map. So here you can see we can get this type of map for the soil texture. Suppose here you can see red color identify about the one kind of texture. Also you can see we, uh, yellow color, green color. Also you can see they also provide the name. Can you, can you, you can yeah, see about can you zoom the name. name. Suppose here you can see about that. You can see the name. Suppose here you can see uh, this color is identify this type of soil texture. Also, you can see yellow is that. Also, have some color with that description. Okay, so you can. Use the what does that mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's a is the soil texture type. Suppose I simply search here. So in the short form, they put in here soil texture name USDA data set. So just. Click on here. This data set also available from the Kagiri. So here you can see CL means clay, okay, and also you can see CI CL means the uh, silty clay, SSL means sandy clay. So here you can see different types of uh, unique values with their name. Here you can see about that CL yellow, CL loom. Okay, you can yellow. see yellow okay. is the loom. Uh, CI yellow is the slip loam. Uh, SA yellow, so sandy loam. So different types of this is the short form and this is the description about that. Okay, you can see about that SA mainly sand. Okay, so you can see this is the same short form. You can also get it from here. You can see about that. S A. It's for the sand. So we can get this type of color. Identify about the sand. Okay. C L means clay. 
Okay. Yes. Then yes, we can yes, get yes. so all of them. We can easily find out in here their full name. Okay. Then we can easily identify about it. What is that for name? Uh, so this is the name about that. So we can easily get this is a soil texture. And now I want to work for this specific boundary. So it's very easy. Just we simply import our shape file. Suppose I simply import okay, yeah. shape file. Can import my, my, my file. Uh, okay. So just we simply import Fuji Emirates. Fuji. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 that one. And I give a variable name. Suppose I put the name is that uh, ROI. Okay. So for that, we are just simply clip with that area. So just I take a variable name. Suppose I put the variable name is that suppose soil map. And then I call the soil data. Paste here. And these things just clip with our study area, which is uh, our, okay, then I want to uh, just visualize it. So just simply copy the soil map and then click and uh, then paste here. So now we can easily find out that soil texture map for your study area. And I want to focus just simply use our map dot center object is that ROI and enter one. So now we can easily find out that your study area. So you can get this type of F. Okay, so here you can see. So here we find out this type of texture of your soil. So here identify this type of color here you can see about that um, from here. I think SALO, Sandy Loom. Okay, so this type of color here you can see it's a sandy loam okay and also yeah. you can see about the green color green color uh s a c i l o sandy clay loam i think s a c i l o clay loam okay sandy clay loam i can easily get this name from here uh okay and yolo yolo is that i think it's just uh it's a sandy what is that and check it let us say red color S A. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so give it a depth. Okay. So if you print that, suppose I just print print this file map. So now it show about this email and here you can see the B0 all of band is available properties you can see about the all of name okay. for the B0 class name you can get Their color plated and this is a class value mainly one two three four this is the class so basically this data set is the real data set we can easily use it for getting this soil texture map okay and this okay. resolution is for ph we have yeah. yeah okay so for ph soil ph we can get some specific region uh suppose ph uh, you can see isdo soil ps so this data set is only available for the Africa. Okay. So this data set is only available for the Africa, not for the whole world. Okay. So here you can 